Hi guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel, it is Sweetest Dolls, and today is like a monumentous occasion. We are opening Bratz Pretty and Punk Sasha. This is insane to see in person because, uh, like, this is our first, like, new designed Playline doll. Because we've had, like, the doll, like, the um, collector releases, we've had all that type of stuff, which are new designs, but this is the first one at the Playline level that is... A new design in it entirely so let's just get right into it i've never had any of the pretty and punk dolls in box or nor have i seen the boxes in person so this is completely new to me so we're gonna take it step by step and we're gonna start at the back first so the back says brad's pretty and punk up here and then right here says get ready to rock it like a rebel looking pretty and punk with the brats in london and then it has it in a bunch of different languages so these are the um I'm assuming final final releases of the first batch because it usually if it's just like the English translation that means it's like different you you would know if you've um gotten any of the other brats reproductions that like if it's solely um English on the packaging it's usually um an earlier version of the doll that is released but I'm not gonna dwell on that too much because I don't even know if that's true um and then right here is a new um piece of photography that says party like a punk and we have reproduction sasha's prototype which you can tell the screening on this one is different than the final one which i kind of like the final one better because this one reminds me a lot of like 2015 style which isn't bad but i definitely don't think it fits with the rest of the pretty and punk we have pretty punk reproduction megan and aton um and then we have just underground and the bottom says the pretty and punk collection super exciting mj down at the bottom and then we have the full art for sasha in her second outfit i know this outfit is very controversial but i do think it's good just minus this jacket because i know all of them have like a pop of color in their outfits but i do think this jacket is a little too like 2015 slash omg style for brats but besides that i think it's good um on top we have the handle which i'm so excited that they're giving us like these really cool handles with things we can actually put on like keychains and stuff i'm excited to get this off and show it because it is like a really cool chain um but yeah onto the front we have brats pretty and punk with the art there and then up here it says brats world um i think these also were on the tokyo gogo -Go boxes i have my aton box upstairs but i don't um remember 100 percent. but we also have the suitcase with some stickers the name tag it says poster inside and then pretty it says punk party outfit outfits two of them but yeah i'm gonna go off camera unbox her and then i'll be right back i'm so excited actually wait before i do that i don't know if you can tell but it has like the union jack um design on the front of the box which is so cool and i know the originals have that too so it's cool that they brought that back but yeah i'm gonna go off camera now unbox her and i'll be right back okay so sasha is out of the box that was a pretty painless unboxing i mean it's the same as like all the deluxe brat stalls there's just like a lot of ties and a lot of plastic things you need to snap snip but holy crap i took like i think like probably 10 minutes oh off from getting her out of the box and just like playing around with her a bit to filming again because i'm like awestruck by her face and her hair and everything like i think that like the people that said this design didn't really fit with pretty and punk i get it because it is inspired by a different sort of punk this is more new york punk while the other ones are london and these girls are obviously all supposed to be in london so it doesn't fit entirely but i think just like as a punk based doll she's flawless um so i'm gonna show you the poster first i might need actually to back up my camera or i might just do a pan up and down but the front of it is just the sasha art blown up in hd which is really nice since this is art we haven't seen yet really um and then the back is the uh same photography that was done with the repros which is pretty and punk megan aton and sasha you can kind of see what i mean up close with this face the eyes and the brows are notably different like if you put them side by side okay please focus like yeah you can see the difference <laughs> the one in the prototype like the hand-painted one is notably like extremely like softer and i feel like nicer looking while this one looks like a mean mean person which i love um 
but yeah, that's the poster. I'm probably gonna hang it up with the photography on the um, outside because I just think it's a lot prettier. But let's take a look at the doll and then we're gonna look at the accessories and then I'm gonna cut away again to switch them into the second outfit and then maybe an outfit that I think I'm gonna keep them in because I do have qualms with both outfits. Um, so first off, here is Sasha's face. I'm like awestruck. I love that they use the open mouth mold. It's my favorite of the two from Bratz. I just think it's so gorgeous out of the original two, obviously. I just love like the idea of a purse lip or like, I don't know, like all my favorite dolls have an open mouth mold, like Step Out Jade, um, Pampered Pups, Charlie, uh, Wild Wild West, Kiana, all, like all of the Clock to Tokyo girls. So like a lot of my favorite Bratz dolls have the open mouth mold. So it just makes sense that I'm instantly going to love this one. Like, I love how simple her makeup is because it's really just like a graphic liner over the crease and then like a wing that follows the rest of the wing. I love how arched the brow is. These remind me of the reproduction series 3 Tiana, Welcome to Fabulous Tiana, that was reproduced because she is like notably more mean looking, <laughs> which I love. Um, but yeah, also the hair, it is nylon, it is textured um, nylon. I'm obsessed with this hair. I can't wait to play around with it. I am not obviously gonna straighten it because that's just weird. If you do that, you're weird um, because Sasha got, has God knows how many dolls with straightened hair and this is one of the only ones with a natural texture to it. So like, why are you straightening it? Just get one of those other dolls. Um, but I love that. And then we have this little side bun that has the braids, the white braids in it, which I love. And I love how these are curled. I think it's so pretty. I just, I don't know, her hair, like, outfit aside, I think this doll is perfect. This doll is going to be so much fun to restyle and play with, and I can't wait to see people's restyles of her, because it's going to be amazing. Um, next is the other part that I don't think we really knew about till yesterday? Um, she has, like, an undershave. Oh, her hair is stuck on her earring. She also does have little black studs as earrings, but she has an undershave. This is purposeful. This is not like a rooting error or anything. It is meant to be an undershave. I think it's interesting. I would have liked if it was flocked because I could actually bring over my Bratz Boys. The original Bratz Boys had their undershaves flocked. Um, so I don't know. I think that would have been nice, but I feel like the budget is, it's fine without it. I really don't, you can't really see it that much and if you it bothers you that much just flock it yourself but I love it I think it's really interesting and I like that how you can see it on the side it reminds me a lot of G3 Frankie with their ghoul spirit doll and possibly their neon frights doll based on the leaks that we've seen but yeah so next is the outfit so we have this black choker up there it is removable I'm not going to remove it right now um, this right here is really nice. I'm not going to take it off right now because it took me so long to get it to look good, but the black mesh and the Union Jack top are two separate pieces, which is amazing. This is more like a shrug. It's not a top. It stops actually right where the Union Jack top starts, so it doesn't really cover her chest at all, which can be an issue for restyles, but I do think this piece is going to be really versatile and really, really fun to play around with. Like, this is something I want in my own closet. So I'm very excited to see it. Um, next, we go on to the pants. And as you can tell, we have some leather suspenders, which I'm not a fan of like at all. Um, I also don't like this Union Jack top, but I think that's just because of how bright it is compared to the rest of the outfit. Um, I might dye it or I might just try and find a way to like dull it because this is like so bright and shiny compared to the rest of the Pretty and Punk dolls and outfits. So I don't know. That could also just be because it's new, but who knows. Um, next are these leather suspenders, which I don't really like. I do think we could have done without them, or we could have used a different type of material for the suspenders. Um, I do think the idea of it is cool, but I don't really think it fits all too well here. But that's just me. Um, if you like it, you like it. I just personally don't. I feel like they probably would have looked better off, but um, we'll see. Um, the jeans I'm obsessed with how they look so okay for a second I thought mine were de like constructed weird they kind of are they might be a little uneven but or, or it might just be the stretchiness of the mesh here um so we have a chain right here 
that goes across her waist a little bit. Um, it's most of it is um, using some yellow stitching, but we have these two like thigh cutouts, which um, are really cool. And it uses the same mesh, I think, that the skirt from the second outfit uses at some points, or maybe it's just a completely different mesh. I don't really know, but it is slightly like silver in tone. And then we go to the bottom, which have these two cutouts to show off the shoes. These, I don't know what boots these are. I don't know if they're pretty in punk boots because I heard people saying that they don't fit with the rest of the line, but I, I genuinely do not know. So I don't know. I think they look cool. I do. I definitely do think black would probably look better just because these pops of color, like specifically with the top and the shoes are kind of out of place with the rest of the outfit. But I don't know. I think they look good still regardless and the pants are made like extremely well i love how form-fitted they are at the top because i know some brats jeans can be like very baggy at the top and i appreciate how form-fitting these are and they give her such a cool like hourglass shape so yeah and the other thing that came on the doll herself sorry her hair is in her face but it's so pretty i'm just obsessed with her face please don't fall she's gonna fall okay i'll just put you back here but the other piece is this um, Dior saddlebag inspired bag for her, which has some print up here. Is that um, Chevron? I don't know what print this is, but it's cool. It um, Velcro's open and it's just a bag. This also uses that leather or pleather, I guess, as a strap, which I don't mind it as much here. I just don't think it looks great on the jeans. So that's my main issue, but yeah um next is the second outfit which i will show you on the mannequin first and then i'll show it on the doll i'm probably going to end up putting this um top on over the union jack over the mesh here because i do think this would look better anyway it's a black pleather with some caution tape that goes around the neck and then the skirt itself is so cool and it's stitched like so it's so such an interesting piece I'm excited to see it on the doll because I don't even know how to describe it, but it has some of these like hanging metal things here. It has some tool here. I love the like um, squiggly like bottom here. I just think it adds such a, like, an interesting shape. It also has like a high low that goes from the side down. And I don't know, it's just so interesting. I'm excited to see it because I feel like we haven't seen a piece like this on a doll like ever. And it's cool that Bratz put it. And then we have like the most controversial piece I feel, which is the like leather little leather vest. Um, I, it's very well made. I will give it that, but I'm I'm still not a fan of it. Um, it is currently tea tied, and so I'm not gonna take it off yet. But it's it's definitely an acquired taste. I will give it that. I I don't know how I feel about the purple with the rest of Sasha. But hey. It's cool that we get all these cool accessories because mix and matches is fun. Um, and then we have the suitcase, which is just the same as the other Pretty Punk suitcases. This part comes up, there's a handle here. It opens this side. So yeah, nothing like new or revolutionary about this thing. It's just, I think the only one that's a new color, which is blue. And then we have the suitcase with stickers. <laughs> And then we have the Big Ben in London stickers, which are cool. I don't know if there's, I'm assuming there's multiple because that does look pretty thick, but I also have no idea since I've never owned a doll. This, any of these dolls new, so I don't have any of those accessories. Um, and then we have the um, Mugler inspired star, star brush, which is red. Um, but I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to redress Sasha in the second outfit and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have opinions. <laughs> um, I will say positive. I think all these pieces are extremely well made and cool, maybe minus the vest. Like, I really like this caution tape top. I think it's really cool and it's gonna be nice restyled and same with this skirt. I feel like this would look good on like a Midnight Dance Girl. Um, but together, I do not like it and I will tell you why. So I think that the differentiating blacks is what heart hurts his outfit a lot. Like, um, the pleather top, trying to mix it into the skirt with these pleather pieces doesn't work just because of how, like, dark of a black this is next to, like, this silver black that they use for the skirt. Um, and also this purple comes quite literally out of nowhere. Like, if her color and her hair were, like, pink mini braids, like, if these were, 
sorry, not pink. If these were like the lavender purple that the jacket is, then I think it would look really cool. But th this is white. I feel like if anything, this should have been like white. But I also don't think that would have looked good either. I just don't think this vest looks great. So I'm going to take it off and I'm going to show you what the outfit looks like without it. Um, because I do think it looks better without it, but I still don't quite like it. I do, like, I think this looks infinitely better, actually, seeing it. Um, but I, I just don't like this piece. Like, I really don't think I'm getting any mileage out of this piece, which is fine. I didn't really buy this doll for the second outfit. Um, but I do think that is something to keep in mind if you're not one to restyle your dolls. Um... Like, I'm not going to restyle her that much. I'm going to use the pieces she comes with. So I'm probably, I will show you what I'm going to do um, after we cut away again. But I do have to say, these pieces are all really well made. And I think this skirt silhouette is really cool. And this is something, like, I would love to see, like, in person. Like, I want to know um, what skirt Stephen Summer, the designer of the stall. Don't send him any hate, please. I'm going to say that right now, actually. Um, you cannot like a doll. But do not send the creator and the designer any hate. Hate it on your own time. Like, there is no reason to harass or bother the designer of this doll. To, like, for any reason. Like, if it's not your taste, whatever. Just just leave it be. Just, just put your two cents on Twitter and don't tag him in it. Don't try to harass him in his Instagram DM, comments or DMs. Just leave him alone. <laughs> so, hopefully you guys are better. I hope my viewers are better than that to, um go off and harass a designer because I did see that happening when this doll first leaked but uh I digress um I do think this skirt is really cool I like all the inspirations again this is not London punk this is New York punk from the 2000s so there are different inspirations being taken for this doll um so, and I do really like I think this looks a lot better I just think the thing throwing it off is the boots because like I think that looks pretty decent again it's the blacks that are, bo that are bothering me as well but overall everything is really well made it looks really nice the quality is there like I think these are some of the more high quality pieces that Sasha comes with um everything is really high quality obviously it's brats but I don't know I'm not a, just a fan of how it looks together especially with her makeup like if her makeup had been darker maybe or if there was black in her makeup besides the liner maybe and again I think the braids are also throwing it off because they are just stark white but yeah I'm gonna throw together um the outfit I'm I'm probably gonna keep her in and then I will be right back with like final thoughts and all that type of stuff so okay I'm back and I think this is the outfit combo I'm gonna go with um let me lower my tripod a little bit so I can just show you the entire outfit um so like I think this looks a lot better and I think like the caution tape ties in with the yellow stitching here and I think the blacks look good and I think like the deeper denim looks good with the blacks overall because I feel like this is way too bright with that denim but I don't know I think this looks cute I like this I like this and also the silver here matches with the silver in the boots and the chain so I don't know I think this looks cute but yeah that is it for my pretty and punk Sasha review um I would highly recommend this doll. I just think it's really cool that we're getting, like, the characters that were originally supposed to be in the line. Because there was supposed to be a Pretty in Punk Sasha, but she never came to fruition. Or at least there was, like, a face design for her that was never seen. And that isn't this face. This is a completely new face that they did for this redesign that Steven Summer did. I don't know if he was the one that did the face, but I know that this is a completely new face. And the one that we originally thought we were going to get is not being used. But I think... Melina doll if I'm correct has a repaint of that Sasha that Lala did I think Lala loves it did I'm pretty sure she they did that um repaint correct me if I'm wrong but that's kind of beside the point um I really like her and for how much Pretty and Punk is I think she's worth it I think the clothing pieces are magnificent I'm glad that we got so many new pieces because like with the other dolls I feel like most people are getting them as either fashion packs or because they don't want to pay ludicrous prices for Pretty and Punk like specifically Jade and it's a fun way to get their outfits again and some of them are like better fitting like I've heard Jade's second skirt is fitting a lot better than the original um but I don't know I think it's fun like there are pieces that I obviously don't really like in this doll like I said the vest and I I like this piece in concept I just don't like how bright it is so I'm gonna have to find out how to fix that 
and I really like the skirt in concept, so I just think I think I need to restyle it with something to make it look better, but yeah, that is it. I'm really happy with her. I'm very excited that we have her. Um, it's kind of surreal that this is like the first new playline design for any of the Bratz characters, and it's Sasha, like a doll that has was skipped out on so many different lines. It's just wild, and I'm, I'm so happy, and I think this face is gorgeous. I think it blends in with the other Bratz designs as a whole. Maybe not so much Pretty and Punk, because I think Pretty and Punk has a very distinct style that, like, this Sasha strays away from a bit, but that's because of her influences are, like, are pretty different than the original um, influences for the original Core Girls, but I don't know. I'm very happy with her. I know this is, like, a very, um, yes or no doll for people, but I do think that the base doll themselves, if you can get her, like, second hand, or if you can find someone that wants the alpha pieces but doesn't want the doll and you can get the doll um, for cheaper, I think that would be a great way to get her because I think this doll is going to be so much fun to play around with and restyle. Um, but I'm just really excited to see people get her and restyle her and figure her out and do really cool hairstyles with her because I think like the mix of the textured hair with these micro braids is really, really fun and it could add a lot of mix and match possibilities that could complement the outfits maybe I didn't like more too, which is really fun. And I feel like with this, it brings so many like dyeing possibilities to the table. Like you could dye these micro braids quite literally any single color. And I feel like if you did them like a lavender color, they would look good with the second outfit. But that's just me ranting about my hopes and dreams, I guess. Um, but yeah if you guys like this video please like comment subscribe you know all that stuff um thank you all for the support recently it's meant a lot i'm happy with everything i'm so happy that brats is back i that was kind of random but I'm, I'm really happy brats is back because they are like probably my favorite doll line of all time i know for a while i said it was rainbow high but rainbow high has kind of fallen off for me a little bit not gonna lie and brats is always there and brats are back like are you kidding me but yeah that's it i will see you guys in the next one um and i will see you guys later bye